Hi guys, Black is here. Hey listen, the other day I was riding with a friend and we was playing around and I was doing about, I don't know, 45, 50 miles per hour and I was coming up on the red light and I waited until the very last minute and I slammed on brakes, scared the hell out of him. And this guy is not a real automotive person. He, he drives cars. That's about it. He he he's not a very automotive person. Anyway, he asked me, was I afraid that my brakes were going to fail one day? And I told him, no, because brakes don't just fail. He, of course, tried to argue with me and said they did. And I'm like, you remember who you're talking to, you know. I'm a technician. This guy don't know crap about cars. So how are you going to tell me something that you don't know anything about? Now, people online, people on YouTube who's watching this video right now are, think, are leaving comments. I, I, you don't know what you're talking about. I, I know this. I know these same people don't have a video of them pulling up a parking brake. But they're going to try to tell me I'm wrong. Now, I'm going to give you the closest example of brake fail, all right? This was a, I think it was 1980 or 1981. I had a Toyota Corona. Corona came before the Camry. This car, I had bought it from a guy and the brakes on dry ground seemed to stop okay. But whenever it rained, the front wheels would lock up. And if you if you waited till the last minute, your ass would slide into somebody. So I learned when it rained to stop early, okay? Now, one day I took off the back wheels and I noticed that the drum was cold. I mean, I had drove this car around the block or down the street or whatever. It, I drove it long enough for the brake drums to be hot. They were cold, okay, on both sides. So I'm like, for whatever reason, the back brakes are not working. But I knew it had good brakes because one, I looked at the brakes and two, the parking brake worked perfect, worked damn good. So why wasn't the back brakes, why wasn't the back drums getting hot? Well, I later found out because the master cylinder was bad. The rear channel had stopped working. Why, I don't know. Most American cars, when that happens, you get a brake light comes on. But I had no brake light. You know, the brake light worked, but it didn't It didn't let me know that I had a bad master cylinder. Now, how did I find out I had a bad master cylinder? I pulled into a Kmart parking lot one day, get ready to pull in front of a Cadillac and put on brakes and hit the Cadillac. The brakes went to the floor and I ran into the Cadillac. So um, I looked around, I didn't see nobody, and I drove the damn car home using the parking brake. Yep, that's right, I drove the car home using parking brake. Old school, right? Well, anyway, I went to the store and I bought a master cylinder. I put the new master cylinder on, pumped the brakes, bled the brakes, whatever, and how about the back brake started working? You could now drive down, drive around the corner, come back, take the back tile, and both rear drums will be hot. So all that time I was riding around with nothing but front brakes. So when the front brake circuit failed and I hit the brakes and went to the floor and I ran into that car, you could say the brakes failed, but no, they didn't just fail. They gave me a warning that they wasn't working correctly. I just was too broke to get it fixed. Because back then, I, I didn't... Again, normally when you have a rear circuit bad in American car, because I, I grew up driving American cars. I mean, I did drive some foreign cars, but usually I drove up, grew up driving American cars. But again, whenever you had a circuit to go bad, you would get a brake light. On that Toyota, it didn't give me a brake light. So again, brakes don't just fail. They give you a warning. It just, some people don't heed that warning. Just like I did heed that warning. Also, I left out a part. I forgot to say this. Normally, when you lose the rear brakes, 
your pedal will be softer, meaning that like the first time you step on the brake, the pedal will kind of go to the flow, not to the flow, but it'll go down lower than normal. And then when you step on the brakes again, it'll build up. The pedal will be a little more firmer and you'll get the back brakes. Well, on this, this Corona, the pedal seemed tall. It seemed firm. And when you pump it, it did not build up. It just seemed firm. And that, I don't know, that, that car fooled me. Because normally, like I said, the pedal, when you lose either the front or rear, the pedal will get softer. Like my golf, for instance, um, I replaced the master cylinder on it. Now, it didn't give me a brake. Did it have? It didn't give me a brake light. I don't think it gave me a brake light either. I don't think. No, it didn't. But I noticed that when you first step on the brakes, the pedal will kind of soft. And then when you step on it again, the pedal was firm. So I knew then the master cylinder was bad. But now that I think about it, it didn't give me a brake light either. Dre, y'all have a good day.